Spectre here, and we are back with more Whispering Willows. Right, let's go down to the basement. That was open, purely true, the power of music. Oh gosh. Oh no. I sense a great amount of death and decay nearby. We must be getting close. You know what was in the nice, um, dude man, Flying Hawk? You must dig, Alina, and uncover what lies beneath. If you had told me all these things before attempting to help me. You know, so that I could have said no. Okay, I need something to dig with. Uh, so... I assume we need a shovel. Where do we get a shovel from? Uh... Da, 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 da. Is there like a tool shed somewhere outside that we missed? Let's see now. Yeah, I have a bucket. And I have my ancestor in my inventory. But I think right now we need a shovel. A shovel. A, ch a shovel. Right, so let's go back into the garden and see whether there's anything else that we ha can find. Do -do -do, do -do -do. No, not the front of the mansion. Is there anything beyond this? Ooh, note! Press escape to read. Young Marcus wishes to visit me here, but... I've taken up residence inside a meagre farmhouse that I commissioned the men to build me, built for me. I do not wish for him to see me living in such a hut, but my means now allow me to live rather more comfortably, and so I've decided to build a mansion befitting my rising wealth and stature. As my wealth grows, so too my mansion and the extravagance of its ground. My quaint farmhouse shall be converted into a guest house as I plan to host future functions that will make me famous on this side of the country. I, ha I hope to have much in order when he arrives, such that we may spend ample time visiting together. He has informed me within his letter of how he has grown, but I cannot truly wait to see the boy. It has been far too long. I look forward to seeing him and getting a glimpse of what his mother has shown in... of getting a glimpse at what of his mother has shown up inside him. Waltham Willows. Right. Okay, maybe there's- this oh, shoot. Can't get in. I want- Ooh, there's something here. Hello? Oh, hi! Petty Officer Holmes, I tried to take my girl into Old Willow's Conservatory, but didn't have anything to cut the vines with. Your girl? What do you mean? Why are you dead? More mansion... Observatory. We need a shovel. Let's see. Okay, I don't want to go upstairs. I do believe we have found an opportune location for our new home. A verdant glade surrounded by rivers teeming with fish and an abundance of wild game. A complication exists, however. The glade is home to a tribe of savages called the Quantaco. I have heard tell that they are peaceful folk, but it confounds my mind to think that the savages with neither government nor laws could contain any amount of civility within their primitive brains. Fuck you, but I shall do my part as a member of the superior fuck this guy and extend to them the decorum upon which I most robustly reared. I shall conduct myself as though I were a business meeting with other refined gentlemen. Fuck this dude. He's got his head so far up his ass. Oh, there's someone here. Oop, no. Okay, hey, how's it going? Less rivers. I admit, frankly, I'm shocked. It feels like I've been waiting around forever for my business meeting with Mr. Willows. The sun here is so bright and warm. I may just take a nap in it. Okay. Okay. Just gonna just gonna go back inside her right now. Is there anything else here? 
Nip. Okay, so don't tell me there was only a note and a ghost in this place. Okay. Come on. Let's go up to the mansion. Let's see how this is it fancy mansion? Doesn't look very fancy. Oh, there's a ghost somewhere. There you are. I need to pay attention. Oh my, it has been quite chilly as of late. Please take my coat. A lady such as yourself shouldn't go cold. Oh, what a nice guy. Why, such a gentleman. I thank you kindly, sir. Oh, I assure you, miss, the pleasure is all mine. He wants to get with that. Okay. Is there anything else? I don't. Ooh, note! Lots of reading in this game. I arrived in California last week and have luckily managed to find work for myself. I am a dancer in a local saloon. It's not a glamorous life here as I had imagined, but it is something. And that's all I need for now. The saloon also runs a brothel in its walls, but I could never resort to such a profession. Most of the town is owned by a man named Wartham Willows. I've not seen the man, but his name is on the lips of almost all I meet. He even owns the saloon where I work. There are rumours about him. Some good, some bad. I do not know which to believe. I believe the bad ones, to be honest, because he sounds like a jerk so far. Uh... Go to the back of the mansion. I think this is the guest house. Oh, tool shed! Yes! This is what we needed. Nick Fish is playing Rocket League. Phone! Shovel. I wonder how old it is. Just take it. Ooh, what's this? Note. I've heard stories of this place when I was growing up from my grandparents, and we learned about its history in school. But I never knew who to believe. The story from my family told a dark history of brutal genocide and inhumane enslavement of our people, the Quantanko, the Quantanko natives. The history I learned in school was quite different. Waltham Willows, the forebear of this place, was depicted as an independently, independently wealthy tycoon around whose endeavours the town sprouted. The thing is, I can see evidence for both sides of the- PHONE! I can see endeavors. F I can see evidence for both sides of the argument, and that evidence is strewn about these grounds. Interesting. John Elcon. Okay, so we have the shovel. We can go back and dig whatever that thing is. I'm. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that that is probably a corpse. Just saying. It's not gonna be flying Hawks' Hawk body, but it's definitely just gonna be a corpse. And also, I forgot I could run. Right, let's go down to the basement again and dig it up. Yes, yes, we've been over this, man. He's in my inventory, so... Is he, like, in my pocket? Oh no. This... This isn't right. Flying Hawk, what have you got us into? Alina, get out. <gasps> Oh my god, no, 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 run! Why are you walking so slowly? Go oh my gosh, no, what is this? Flying Hawk! You fucker! What did you do? Oh my god! You shit! I'm baffled by this, Alina. I'll show my body would be found here. I remember falling, falling down... Darkness, a pit of despair. Please, Alina, we must continue the search. I don't want to work with you anymore. I just want to find my dad. I didn't sign up for this bullshit. Oh my god. New diary entry added. There's so much in this place I don't understand. Why is there a feeling of darkness here? And why would someone want to take my dad? Flying Hawk doesn't know enough to give me solid facts either, so I have so many unanswered questions, it makes me want to cry. My energy feels so sapped from everything I've seen, but it doesn't matter. I I have to keep searching no matter what. 
Fuck you. Screw all of you. I'm running away from this place. Right. Um, there's nothing there that we can look at. So we're going to go up to the mansion. Bloody hell. No, I have to help Flying Hawk find his body first. You... Ugh. Is this the two couple ghosts? Yeah, this the two couple ghosts. Space to attach the bucket. This is a bad idea. Why did I just do this? Down the hole, down the hole. Oh yeah, because he said he was falling. Oh, I see. Oh yes. We're getting close. I can feel my body's presence nearby. You little shit. I don't trust you anymore. This is far enough. My body lies in the dirt just beyond the walls of this well. Uh, Flying Hawk? Your body is kind of moving. I would have wandered endlessly throughout this world without you. I can now finish my journey into the afterlife. I wish you luck in finding your father. I assure you, he lives. But you must hurry. I'll be watching over you. Goodbye, Alina. You can finally rest in peace now, Flying Hawk. Because of you, I know my dad's in the mansion somewhere. Thank you for everything. He screwed you over! You nearly died twice! Oh my goodness. If this thing breaks before I get out, I'm gonna be so mad. Okay, new diary entry. Flying Hawk's gone now. He's resting in peace somewhere. I'm happy for him, I really am. He wandered this world for far too long. I just wish he didn't have to leave me all alone. I feel a little bit lost without him, but he didn't leave me with nothing after all. I don't think I would have gotten this far without his help. And thanks to him, I know what I have to do. I've got to find my way into the mansion now. It's so big and scary looking from the outside. I really don't want to do it. But if it means finding my dad, I'll I'll do anything I have to. Okay. Okay, we can't go on the other side of this wall. It's fine. And now we can get into the mansion. Warthom's Warrior, Chapter 2. Okay. Ooh, it's quite a fancy house, isn't it? Escape to read. I met with a Quantaco shaman this morning, a man named Flying Hawk. We met to discuss the bartering of this land, but our conversation took a turn. He told me that this area was rifled with spiritual power, that the veil between this life and the next was thinner here than anywhere else. We spoke of Martha, that he could help me see her again. I believed him and he offered me his peace pipe. I wasn't sure, but the man told me that it would help me to free myself. I, took, I partook of the strange smoke he gave me and the man told me I must let go of her if I wish to see her again, that my spirit must be pure. We sat in meditation for some time, my mind raced all the while. A bout of paranoia seized me and I realized that this what this medicine man was trying to do. He would have me abandon my hopes for the future, have me live a life of savagery. I know he was trying to poison my mind, and I would have wagered that the smoke was a nefarious intent as well. I refused to abide such insolence. I stood from my seat and challenged this necromancer to fight me, but he did not stir. I wrapped my head around I wrapped my hand around his throat, and he still he did not move. I squeezed until I felt life leave his body, and he slumped down. I released my grip and my fingers peeled from his skin and he fell back from me. I exited the teepee and gave my men the order to purge these vile savages from this earth as God would command to. Darby even made his first kill. I would have I would be proud of him, but he trembled by his horse the rest of the battle. It was just a little girl. They're savages after all. You little shit. Oh, 
Fuck you, Autumn. Ooh, mail bust. I have no idea who this is. Ooh, ghost. Hello. Dobby. Oh, it's just a wee lass. Waltham's me best mate, yeah. You won't be getting past me. You don't want to see the likes of you. My wife's more inclined to wasting time with little girls. Alright, where's your wife then? Ooh, escape. I met a huge man inside the mansion named Darby. He has a strange accent that sounds like I did not sound Irish there, but I'm not quite sure. He didn't want to talk to me much. He did mention someone named Waltham. I think Waltham was the man who owned this mansion. We learned about him in school. He helped to create the town. I don't know why that Darby guy would mention him, but he didn't want to tell me much. He even yelled at me, so I left him alone. I don't think why he'd be so mean to a little girl. Uh, let's get back inside you. Let's see. Let's go look for his wife. I think that's important. It belongs in a museum. Nope, nothing else here. I suppose the gramophone will come into play later on. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Oh, I can't run indoors. Space open the door. It's locked. Armored statue. This is awesome. Maybe Wartham didn't have such a bad taste after all. You are a strange little girl. Right, nothing ki- Ooh, hello. Oh, look at me, I'm so adorable, I'm so cute. Right, let's see what we have here. I'm among the few remaining of my bloodline, descended from a line of powerful shaman. I may not have the powers they once did, but my entombment with nature remains, bleh, remains the same. It's taken me some time to recognize it, but there's a subtle energy at play here that permeates the very air I breathe. The veil between the planes of life and death in this place are th is thin. Spirits seem to pass through these planes at tr as though through osmosis. It's almost indescribable the way I feel their presence here. I want to know what it all means. John Alcon. Let's see. Ooh, I can move this, so... Oops! Oh, shoot! Uh, what am I doing? Oh. Oh, hi. Claire O'Halloran. My poor Darby. His murderer was never found despite my efforts. I was looking into his death and something stopped me. To this day, I don't know what it was. Please help me, Alina. I can't rest until his murderer is found. Right, very interesting. Uh, I don't think I'm supposed to be here yet. But what else? Let's see what's up here. Oh, hi. Up, uh, ooh, progress. Progress I hadn't meant to make, but okay. Right, let's get back into my body, and we're gonna go upstairs and figure this thing out. So I imagine that was this guy's wife then. I can't remember. I can't remember names. Right, we already spoke to you, lady. We'll deal up. We'll deal with everything. Don't even worry about it. We may be a little girl, but we know what we're doing. Okay, let's go upstairs. It freaks me out that el electricity is still working. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing with this. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna let it go for now. Let it go, let it go. Oh, hello. What are you? Trophy room key. Oh, this is amazing! And then go back in you. It's still floating. This key has such fine detail. Right, is there anything else in there that I missed? Let's go. Oh, I'm so cute. I'm such a cutie, woody, patootie. 
Right, doesn't look like there's anything else. So, let's go to the trophy room. I'm gonna imagine the trophy room is on this end. Yep, exactly. Ooh, note! Today is a day of excitement, to be sure. I'm travelling off with my best mate, Waltham Willows, to the great unsettled west. We seek our fortunes there, and I dare say we will face many a danger. I have heard tales of beasts and about savages that await us. Waltham is but a gentle man who lacks my size, so I feel it is my duty to protect him along our journey. Without him and his, I do not know what would have become of my family. The Willows gave us work when none other would. I feel it is my duty to keep him safe no matter what happens. I will shoulder his burden as best as I can. Darby O'Halloran Oh, the, that lighting on the windows at the side there is really creepy. I like it. Oh, you like it. I do not like this. I enjoy delving into the mysteries of this place. There's so much to learn. And I'm not referring to all the books and pieces of history that just collect dust. No, I speak of something else entirely. When I was a boy, my grandfather taught me to commune with nature. That it was the most spiritual endeavour I could hope to perform. At the time, I didn't understand what he meant, but... Spending time there has my has opened my eyes to the truth of the old man's sage words. I can admit in these pages that I've seen things no other living man has seen. I ventured beyond the mortal coil and found the other side. I've come back, but not wholly unscathed. I feel marks upon this fabric of my soul. But what that means yet, I don't know. I messed it up and accidentally made it rhyme! Yay! Oh my gosh, I just got an achievement called What Does the Fox Say? <laughs> How dare you! How dare you, game! What was that? Oh, what is that? What is that? Oh my gosh, no! No! Girl, move, move, move! 